Can I ask you about what Keir Starmer said on the 11th of October? He was asked on LBC if an Israeli siege was appropriate, including cutting off power, cutting off water. And he replied, I think Israel does have that right. Why did he say that? He, he's clarified that this week, that he was answering the previous question and then went on to talk about the importance of international law. I was with Keir on the 7th of October when we held a vigil at Labour Party conference uh, in support of Israeli civilians uh, and what had happened with the horrendous Hamas attack. He made the point at that vigil that international law must be respected and upheld and he's made it many, many times sure. since. But, I mean, the, pro the problem is it took him nine days to issue the clarification you've just referenced. And in that time, a number of people in Britain's Muslim community have expressed anger at what he said and at the position of the Labour Party. Various Muslim councillors have resigned. The Labour Muslim Network has asked for an apology. Will they get one? Well, we, we've, we can't apologise for holding a position that we've never held. Keir has been clear and consistent on this, as but has he, he wasn't David clear Lally, on that and day. as have I. He, he wasn't clear on that day with LBC, though, was he? Well, that's, that's, why he, that's why he clarified when he was asked about it, to make sure that people hear loud and clear from us and it took that nine international days. law must be upheld. Look, Keir and I met with aid agencies this week to talk about the unfolding crisis, the emergency on the ground. I, I can tell you that we are acutely aware of what is happening in Gaza at the moment and the urgent need to get help to people. We're acutely aware that for Palestinians in Gaza, this didn't start on the 7th of October, that they have been in crisis for over a decade and a half with very little prospect of peace. OK. And do you understand why some Muslim Labour supporters have felt alienated by what he said? I, I completely understand why people in the Muslim community are in extraordinary amounts of pain right now and heard those words and felt very concerned. And I'm glad that we've clarified that. I'm glad that we've been consistent about that. Keir, David Lammy and myself and continue to be consistent about that. And I'm glad to be able to make that point on your programme, okay. Victoria, because well, people, are, people are very frightened about what's happening to their relatives at the moment. They're very, very worried about what's happening on the streets of Britain as well and for their own personal safety. And it was important for me to be able to go to Friday prayers and express my solidarity with the Muslim community to hear that pain and to assure them that we are doing everything that we can, even from the position of opposition. Right, we well, have influence and we're doing everything let, that we can to try and resolve this.